Okay, welcome to Pastel Demo for Cloudscapes. For those of you that have not used Pastels before, I'll give you a quick setup of the materials that I have. A piece of newsprint paper, that's gonna be my messy paper to catch all the pastel dust. Then I have my drawing paper, so this is a toned paper. Of There's different tones you can choose from. I'm using a gray. And then I've got my pastels, a variety of colors. I've got a kneaded eraser, so this is a little um, moldable eraser. All the supplies are either on the colored cart or on the table, middle table, or and the erasers are in the white bucket on that table. You may want a paper towel, this is also handy, and you also may want an apron. The focus today is cloudscapes. The thing about pastels that's really nice is that it's you can lay down tones and then you can change those tones very quickly using a different color. So in the upper left-hand corner, there's the sky is mostly blue, but it's not it's not as deep a blue as that. So what I want to do is now blend in some white and a little bit of this light this light green color. And this light green and the white is going to change the mood of that sky and make it a little bit more kind of stormy and a drab colored sky rather than the bright blue. But I'm using the blue as the base for, for that area. And I can change it more if I want to later on. And the sky on the other side is less blue. It's more of this like kind of greenish, kind of hazy green sky. And you can see that not only am I laying down tones here, but I'm surrounding the cloud shape. So in a sense, I am kind of painting the background, really, around that cloud shape. So I'm gonna go finish up the background, complete that, and then I'll start in on the cloud after that. I've pretty much blocked in my background and I'm just kind of going in and touching up here and there, adding a little bit more nuance to the, to the, the background. Um, and so now I'm pretty much ready to start my clouds in the center here. Obviously this cloud shape is the kind of the brightest, most, um, you know, high contrast area of the image because it's the subject and it's, it's this, it's catching the light and it, it's really showing up nicely on the, on this image. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here to the, to the bottom of the cloud and I'm going to start to sketch in using some dark colors. I'm going to sketch in these shadow tones. And the reason I'm doing this is because I find that it's a lot easier to blend light pastels into dark pastels. Um, I, it means that I don't have to lay down as much as many dark tones. I can just kind of drop in uh, a few little shadow uh, tones here or there. And then when I go in with the white, I'm going to blend the white into the dark and it makes for a really nice gradient and it, a, a really 
um, like effective way to show the uh, the the puffiness of the clouds. So I'm just kind of going in and just sort of scribbling. I'm scribbling in very roughly these uh, shadow areas that I see in the um, on the bottom of the clouds. Now I've got some shadow tones kind of kind of scribbled in, like I said, and now I'm going to start adding in uh, some of these some of these whites and some of the really bright whites. And I'm just looking at the very the very um, brightest parts of the cloud and adding those areas in. And then when they when those areas get close to the darker shadow tones, now I'm going to just very, very gently kind of smooth those in with my finger. And it can be really, really fun and satisfying to do when you sort of get the feel for it. Up towards the top, I'm going to be much heavier on the pressure with the white and make some really sharp, sharp shapes against the, um, against the, the background areas of the cloud. So smudgier down here where, the, where the, the light parts of the cloud meet the darker parts and then sharper and brighter up top where the top of the cloud is. So I'll finish this up and then you guys can see the result in a second. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with where I'm at with this. I'm gonna keep tweaking it and adding a little bit more highlights here and there and just try to fill in the undeveloped spaces here and there. Obviously, yours doesn't have to look like mine and yours doesn't have to look exactly like the painting that you're copying. Your drawing style is going to be different than anyone else who creates a cloud. So. Keep that in mind that where you feel like putting marks and how you smudge is going to be specific to your drawing style. But just try your best to um, create the effects that you see through the use of the media. One last thing is when you're finished with your drawing, not to blow the pastel dust everywhere. So what you'll do is Take your, take your drawing and just gently tap the dust, the extra dust off like that. Take a new sheet of newsprint, fold that in half. Open it up, pop your drawing in to the folder. Now you can take a photograph of your work and upload that photograph to the new assignment, which is Cloudscapes. Close your folder. And then this now goes into your shelf or drawer or into your red folder. Okay, thanks for watching.